I coded your ideas in Minecraft, and they turned out very weird. Bruno says, Ender TNT, made of the Ender Egg that can blow up bedrock. Hmm, not a bad idea. Ender TNT is a pretty cool idea, but I think we can make it just a little bit cooler than simply breaking bedrock. In this case, boom, Ender TNT. Let's see if we can have some fun with this. Ender TNT is a very dangerous block. I thought it would be cool if instead of simply breaking bedrock, it inherited the abilities of Enderman. And this is what I mean. Oh God. Oh! <laughs> Yeah, so it's basically TNT Roulette. Um, yeah, have fun with that. <laughs> oh. Oh, no, no. <laughs> I've got to admit, it's really kind of fun. Oh, uh, okay. It's just so unpredictable. You never know where it will go. It also lasts a different amount of time each time. I don't know. Th th you know what? This is a cool idea. Oh, I don't really know what it could be used for, though. I mean, realistically, it's just kind Oh. <laughs> it's honestly... <laughs> it's really terrifying. Ender TNT. There you have it. Tortellini Turtle, who has the best name ever, says the ability to smelt the dragon egg into an ender omelet. It expands your ender slots? What? Imagine, you've just beaten Minecraft. You got yourself one, uh... You've gone through the effort to get a singular dragon egg, beating the ender dragon in the process, only to then smelt it and get a dinner of the champions. That's right, none other than an ender omelet. Maybe I didn't say that right. An ender omelet! No, no, it still doesn't sound all that amazing. I, you know, I, I really don't know. <laughs> and, it, <laughs> and it gave me half, half a bar of hunger. <laughs> Caleb says, Jeb applies to axolotls and will give a bucket of RGB axolotl when picked up. Who doesn't like RGB? It was only a matter of time before a comment like this came up in the comment section. It seems like every day now that we're... Uh... <laughs> It seems like every day now, we're getting comments to change every mob in Minecraft using the Jeb Easter Egg. And you know what? I'm not complaining. And after all, what mob could be better than the newly introduced Axolotl? Well, all right. Oh, hey, there it is. <laughs> Hello, Jeb. How are you today? <laughs> Honestly, I'm for it. The Axolotl is the perfect mob and... Oh, oh. And the best part is, it's actually a bucket of RGB axolotl. As you can see here, it's revolving around the colors, as it should. Oh! Kai Crow says, add drowned villagers that turn into pirates, making them friendly and trade interesting loot. Ahoy, matey! Whenever a villager drowns in water, they turn into none other than a pirate. And I really like the idea, although I don't necessarily think they should trade and be friendly, I think they should definitely be dangerous, and they should definitely search for loot. And as you can see, they actually swim, which is something no other mob in Minecraft actually does. This is really cool. And I like to imagine that naturally, they'll wash up on shores and actually try and start a pillager raid in any nearby village. I really, really love pirates. Oh, 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 I really like pirates. This guy is so aggressive. Help me, Iron Golem. Help me. Whoa. What a traitor. I like to imagine that they spawn near shipwrecks. This could actually be really cool and would provide some sort of context as to why the shipwrecks are there in the first place. Maybe they're not so good at piloting a ship. 
You know, they're not so good at swimming either. Ha ha, you can't get me. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh, 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 right. <laughs> So there you have it for the pirate. Now I want to know what do you think the pirate would drop upon death? That is the question I want you to answer in the comments below. I like olives, if you couldn't tell, says a wood counterpart to the stone cutter, like a sawmill that allows you to cut down wood blocks. Hmm. Nope. Hello? Ah. Uh, hmm. No. Ha ha! No. I guess I'll never find a stone cutter. Oh! <laughs> well, hey, look at that! This is the stone cutter. Very familiar, very useful for stone lovers. But it's time for a little bit of woodworking. Introducing the all new sawmill, a block that every villager and every builder alike has wanted for years. This is a block that I personally believe should have been in the game a long time ago. <gasps> But I might just be going a little crazy. I mean, after all, we still have the fletching table that does nothing. <laughs> Yet. But anyways, the sawmill is a great block. I, well, hang on. I just need to craft this into some wood. There we go. Oak planks. It works exactly as you think it would. You need a stair? You got a stair. No more crafting a bunch of stairs that you don't need. Get exactly, precise, precision, and every single amount that you need. What more could you ever ask for? Oh, it's so good and so delightful. And guess what? That's right. It works with every single wood type that you could ever want. Now that is a good deal. <laughs> Look at this mess I've made. Listen to these customer testimonials. I've been using the sawmill for years. Sawmill? <laughs> More like saw it already. <laughs> At first, I really didn't care about the sawmill, but, well, I still don't care about it. <laughs> hey, you know that's a horse. They don't, they don't talk. Oh, it's a horse? Oh. Get away from my horses! Oh. Okay, I think, okay, I think you get the point. The sawmill is a great block, and it's something that should have been in the game a long time ago. Night Sapphire and honestly a bunch of other people said add a slot on horses for an elytra and when you put it on them it allows them to fly I'm sorry for what's about to happen <laughs> Oh god <laughs> I don't know what to say. I, I just really don't know what to say. Y you would be shocked to find out how many comments I got suggesting this feature. And you know what? I kind of understand. Go, Pegasus! Be free! <laughs> Honestly, you know, I kind of like it. It's, it's kind of nice. Not bad. <laughs> hmm. I wonder. <laughs> oh no. No! <laughs> okay, don't, no. Don't walk any, no. Don't walk anywhere. No, 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 oh. Okay, don't walk. Come on. Come on. Wait. Wait. Oh! <laughs> uh. Well, I hope you're happy. This is a Elytra saddled horse. And you know, I gotta say, I definitely like this. This is a really cool feature. It's a little hard to control, but not bad. Well, there you have it, a Pegasus in Minecraft. I've got to say, I like this one. I like this feature a lot. Ah, uh, this is great. It's just, this... oh. What? What? 
Today we're showcasing art from Lord Valkyre, a longtime friend of the channel. His art is really awesome and always unique. Share your art with me and maybe I'll feature it in the next video. Ba -ba, ba -da -ba, ba -da -ba -da -ba -ba. Well, you've made it to the end of yet again another video. So I'm gonna reward you with the treat of me singing, dude. And no, I didn't rhyme, but I do it all the time. Click right here and you'll watch the guy coded Enderman <laughs> differently in Minecraft. If you click to the right, you can, <laughs> you can see another episode of I Coded Your Ideas in Minecraft. What are you waiting for? Click it. You're gonna love it. All right. Thanks for watching.